Hello everyone, Nerdly here and welcome back to the Adain mod. Today we're going to be playing on Mount Gundabad. Now before we get into this one, there's got a bit, there's a little bit of history on this one. This map used to be one of the worst maps for a like a good four player free for all because this area here in Beer for Me two times when there was free build, you could barely build anything in this little corner. You could barely build anything in this area without expanding outward here and this player would just have this entire expanse but no area behind to protect it or be forward base. There was always so much bad stuff happening on this map. Even in Age of the Ring, I never really enjoyed this map. But in Edine, because it's all outposts, camps, and castles, and settlements, it's a lot easier. I'm going to go all random because I like to spice things up. And we're playing as Lothlorien. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Here we go. I'm not sure if the mountainside I've been put next to is actually going to be good. Because I feel, feel like it's a, a siege unit could still just puncture through. Why are my units here? <laughs> like I said, this map is cursed. There's so much going on off on this map. It's hard to explain it all in one sitting. But let's get a border guard house and the forge built up. Because those are always what you want. I'm going to build a mythical stream. I'm going to place it right... Here, so I can see who I'm up against. Hopefully that should give me a bit of vision as to who is nearby. That I saw Isengard and the camp start on out the camp yeah camp start. This is the camp start. On camp starts, Isengard are quite tame. All you need to do is build a couple pikes along with everything else, and you'll be fine. Because the only thing you need to worry about is the um, well, actually no, tell a lie. If they build this up or this outpost into anything but steelworks, and then they build a siege works, I might need to rush them down. But we'll see. I'm actually going to get one unit of pikes straight away because we are going to need it for some layers on this map. Which, if we're lucky, they might have attempted to take that steelworks, that outpost, build it into a steelworks, lost it instantly, and then they're now down 3,000 in pocket and now I'm just going to laugh this game to victory. Okay, just got to keep clearing as many camps as possible. Potential for a second border guard house. Don't even feel like I need Galathrim quarters against Isengard. If I can beat them down fast enough, they don't, they, they don't have anything to stop me. Which would not be a bad idea. But I think I'm going to keep going with all, uh, all four, just so I can get Caliborn as well. Because uh, killing off Isengard heroes is pretty much a one-time deal. Once they're dead, they're not probably never going to come back. And I'm going to send this pipe unit over to see what's going on over there. And if there's, some, if there's an enemy already there, I'm just going to be able to walk away. Nope, no, they did not take the outpost. They, in fact, have just been sitting around in their base doing nothing. And this outpost is undefended, which is... Oh. See, I grind on the Lothlorien outpost being garbage, and it is. But just to hold this area off against Isengard, it might just be better to build it as the... Um, as a Lothlorien outpost. I hate that the thought of it, but it might be the thing to do. But I'm a cynic and I don't like doing things I already have claimed in the past I do not like. So I'm sticking to my guns and I'm just going to destroy this camp, this uh, goblin lair, and eventually build it into a Merkwood outpost. But I feel like we can be a little aggressive against our Isengard enemy here. But I want to focus down the lairs first. Let's try and keep Isengard on the back burner. Let's leave them alone for now. And only attack them outright when we have the strength to. Right now, I'm just playing it slow and steady. Lothlorien's early game is always a bit risky. But you can really get you can really get a lot of value from it if you play it properly. They're charging at me, so I'm just going to walk away. We're faster than them. Unless they use the arrows on us. We're, okay, they're chasing me. If, if they continue to chase me, they are chasing me. There's a straight line straight to my base. I'm going to walk them straight to, into my base. Che just keep making sure they're actually chasing us. Because if they turn around, then there's no point in me just rushing all the way back to the base. But yeah, they're, they're coming for me straight away. They've not got any second thoughts in their minds. They're just going to chase us to the ends of the earth. That's three or Auric Scout units I'm just going to play Ring Around the Roses with. My favourite Lothlorien pastime. Just, just seeing it in your head, Ring Around the Roses, pots full of posies, ashes, ashes, and they all fall down. And that is pretty much what is going to happen to all of these unfortunate Orakai who have thought themselves wiser enough, wise enough to just walk into my base. How unfortunate for them. 
that they have now all been defeated. It looks like they did use their hunter arrows against me because I've got that little purple debuff, which will mean that I'm slowed down and they're sped up. But that's fine. That's not a problem. Work of tools is almost complete, so I will get another unit of warriors. Mm, no, get another unit of border guard pikemen and set up the stream again. This time a little bit closer to the camps, the settlements even. It looks like they still haven't taken the outpost. If it was, I might have seen a little bit of a border of a building. I can only hope. Okay, forge tools are ready. Right after that, forge workers tools. And yet, those goblin layers are still alive, so I can now pressure them down. Isengard has lost three units, each worth 250, although they did start with two of them. If we can get one more power point after destroying both of these layers and taking this settlement and making a Malorn tree, we can actually sit here for the entirety of the game, and Isengard will have very little to contest against this. It's just that good. Um. Oh yeah, recently learned combat training also gives extra resource production from the Citadel. It's not a big deal, but it's cheap, so you should always consider it straight away. You should always try and get something built from these two buildings as often as possible, just because of the buffs they give. Build the man on tree while there's no goblins around to counter me. And yet Isengard or Akai have just pretty much rage quit. I've not seen them do anything since I've killed those scout units. Which is a very good sign. And the goblins are just trying to kill a Malon tree which they do no damage against. Two very two very, very close to two power points now. Uh, forge workers tools are almost ready. I might then go straight into settlers tools because we're doing very well here. Let's get more troops to join the front lines. With haste. And then I will get the settlers' tools uh, prepared now. And you know what? I'm also going to expand the storeroom because we are keeping our units alive. I'm not sure what's happening with Isengard. Are they getting double teamed? Is that why they're not focusing me? Uh, siege for a Rohan which is in the south attacking another faction who I do not know. Could that be scary? Yes. Very, very scary. That That is a Rohan which has all their heroes. That's a very scary concept. And yes, Isengard has not been paying attention to me. They've been attacking a goblin lair, which they again have not been killing. I'm going to fall back, not as a retreat, but as a strategic... With strategic implications that I'm going to be charging back into them with more troops. And also being near the Manon tree when we get the powers means we're then going to get healing and sustained regeneration which is exactly what we want and yep there you go there's the wild riders which is why we built a s several units of pikes and look at that we already have a strong we already have a strong foothold on isengard and they can do nothing about it because they've currently got no heroes and even if they did they just would not be able to do anything. Unit a little bit weakened. Make sure it goes back into the base to heal. I'm not calling the Malon Tree the base because it just... The healing is too good. Uh, I know we're against Loth Lor uh, I Rohan now. So I think saving off the Caliborn is the right play. Isengard now using the Machinery of War or Akai. So they've gotten their tier 2 upgrades. Not a scary thing yet. But it could be something to be worried about. I'm going to go... Go for the four settlers tools for now because the money is rolling and I want to keep it. I want to keep the military going as well. We're in too strong a position to just give up our current advantage. And against a unit of archers that is not going to be moving around and doing more hits just because we're surrounding them, just surround them, make sure we're doing all our hits on them. Lovely, jubbly. And I'm going to keep away from that outpost just because we know we're against the Rohan, we know they have siege. No matter what I do, I cannot hold on to that unless I can defeat their army first. And against Rohan, it is just a smart move to just stay out of the conflict. Speaking of, let's have a look at what's going on over here. I want to see who we're up against. Is that an Isengard as well? No, that's Angmar. Angmar and Rohan are currently facing off. And wow, Rohan has already destroyed a part of the gate that leads, the part of the walls even, that leads to the Hall of the King's Men. That is going to really devastate them because those east folders are really good against uh, buildings 
the poor sods. We're just going to be sitting back here doing nothing. Our economy is just... It's just crazy how good our economy is now. I can even consider just walking into the Rohan base and hit, getting some cheap shots in, but this bit, this army isn't built to destroy bases. It is currently meant to hold them off. I am going to get the Billowing Fog here, because if we're going to retreat, I want to retreat to here, where we've got the fog, so we can use Ambush of the Wood Elves. And I'm just going to put this Manon tree here for vision so we can see if Rohan ever moves up. I don't think Onagos can shoot over this mountain range. We might have to find out but I really hope we don't have we don't have to worry about that. Make sure the pike guards going in first. Now the wilds aren't as scary as the troll but even then the troll is not scary when you can just run it over like that. I've done a lot of practicing running over trolls since doing all the ranking videos. Get that Monon tree built. Get this Wog and Troll layers destroyed. Um, Kelleborn? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Not until I've got a foothold on Isengard. Or if Angmar dies. If either of those things happen, then we might have to um, change up our strategy a little. Let's go for Haldir. Since that's another way of using Ambush of the Wood Elves in this rather large map. Unless I want to get the fog power, which I do. But I think the Elven Wood power is just so much good. So much does so much good. And I'm not going for Gladrill yet, so I should go for that for that first. Um Okay. Now we have much better view of anything that comes near us. And we still got over here. The Onagers are destroying uh, Angmar. They built the Temple of Twilight. That's unfortunate for them because that doesn't do anything for them. Let's just fall back to the uh, Misty Tree for now. Let's not worry about that outpost. It's an economy investment we can think about in the future. For now, just get another pantry and that uh, extra recruitment. We've already got all of our mil uh, economy upgrades. I am going to get Banner Carriers because that extra damage and health for our troops just for get, by becoming level 2 is not a bad idea. At least for units that aren't already very close to level 1, level 2. This unit here could definitely do the banners. But yeah, let's just sit here and get free healing. I have no intention to attack Isengard yet. Their base uh, on a camp start is as well defended as ours if they actually build the towers. And for now we're fine, we're golden. We've got nothing to worry about. Our economy is great. Our military is great. We've got another, I'd say, five, between five and ten minutes before Rohan comes to us. And another ten to fifteen minutes before Isengard or Angmar will become a contest for our elven militia. Let us think about what we want next. I could have saved for Galadriel, but... I say our money's coming up so so good. We actually want to keep our military in line as well. And as good as the extra uh, recruit speed is on there, having a second hub of recruitment that can survive a siege attack is exactly what we want right now. So I'm going to build the Mirkwood outpost. And Isengard has already sent their scouts to try and deal with me. Let's make sure they don't. Oh, there come the wilds, but they just charge straight into pikes, the poor things. Uh, nothing's currently attacking here, so let's get the Vault of the King. Oh, there's Sharku in... Oh, I didn't see Sharku. Okay, yeah, he destroyed my 800 resource Vault, Vault of the King. There's Grima in here as well. Let's make sure Celeborn is the one that is killing them. There's, yep, there he goes. He runs away like a coward, as expected. Get some troop chambers. I'm thinking of building the wine cellar here, if it weren't for the fact I've already got a Manon tree there. So I'm just going to walk back to the Manon tree. Grima... Sometimes walks all the way, but he might also just come back and pop up right where he disappeared from because the AI is a little silly and thinks, oh, I can come back and fight this, but in reality, you shouldn't. If you escape with Grima, you should typically escape. Uh, Elven Wood, yes. Pop that between our uh, healing tree and the Murphur outpost just so we have longer... Uh, save time on that. And there's Grima again. Let's just 
have the heroes deal with that. Every, everyone else can go back and heal. We can deal with that easy. Uh, last building should be another troop chamber. And then I should get Frandall's mobilization and the protect the borders. The other two don't really matter at the moment since so I only have one Vort of the King and there's currently no siege assaulting me. Rohan is still more in... Oh, okay. Angmar's starting to fall. They just lost their Horde of King's men. That's their recruitment building. They're probably going to die and then either me or Isengard are next. Fingers crossed it's not me. <laughs> oh yeah, let's not do that. And there we go, that's our tree. Just persisting long enough that it can cause everyone to rout in fear. Although, actually, I thought that was... Oh, maybe that changed a little bit. I always thought that was the last thing you got. Nope, that's what you get second now. Let's put Refuge in the Woods on here so we can sit closer to our Milford Outpost and keep it safe. More wards and wildmen have appeared. Let's get some units to deal with the... Uh, The nuisance over there and then send the rest to keep defending here protect the borders is almost ready but it's not ready yet uh, i'm gonna get frandall first i was gonna think of getting the game galadriel but at the moment she does not do enough i want frandall because he gives armor to the entire army just for existing and also getting frandall leveled up is a very good thing i'm gonna get a quick swig of water apologies if you can hear it Ugh. Always make sure you drink plenty of water. It's good for you. Oh, Jesus! It's good. It's good for the it's good for the throat. Oh, getting legless now would not be a bad idea. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Galadriel. I'm focusing every other hero but first before you, just because I use you so much. But I've also not gotten. Three more power points to give you Lady of Light yet. And I'll probably get the resources before I get the power points since there's no action going on anywhere. We should definitely build up our army, but I'm going to focus now on getting Merkel troops. Firstly, because of the price decrease, but secondly, because of the fact that they can hold out a little bit longer. And then we can actually focus on getting Galathalin, which are definitely worth the value. Oh, but yeah, Rohan's about to take out I uh, Angmar, and if I can't take out Isengard, which I can't, then I need to think of an alternative, because I'm currently fighting on two sides. Isengard is going to be no threat for at least another 10 minutes. That'll be when they start using their tier 4 powers, and that's when things get a little bit risky. Uh, but I don't want Rohan to just move up straight to me. If they move up to Isengard first, then that's grand. That gives me time to only deal with their chaff that comes after in small waves. I should get another vision tower here. The goblins are still there, so that's a nice thing. There's the Angmar dead. Poor thing. Rohan just obliterates anyone that is in their way. Not, not many factions can counter Rohan early game. Especially if they get given the chance to siege. The question is... Where are they going next? And that was Isengard's tainted land down here. So what were they doing down here? Was Isen Isengard is actually sending troops down south as well as east to me. That's concerning. Not for me. It's concerning for the... Um, for mo more for the Isengard because that's attracting the Rohan force up north. I hope they stay that way and don't come to me. Okay, let's get the lads real. Powers are almost ready, and we've already got all our other heroes. Might as well just finish the ensemble. Uh, that is a single peasant, a singular peasant. And while while is Isengard actually chasing the enemy into my base? Wow, that is some that's some five head level strats there, Isengard. Screw you. I honestly don't know what they're doing, but I'm not gonna allow them the opportunity to get my attention long enough. Do anything about it. No. Peasant, no. You die now. Yeah, they were chasing me hard. And they're still coming towards me. But I might be fine. Yeah, they're gonna die. 
My base is tier 3. They've got a bunch of towers. Those guys may have shields, but that does nothing against my archers. Well, not a lot. Not enough. Uh, throwing up more there will just destroy it instantly. Uh, don't need mobilization yet. I'm fine. Uh, Rohan with fire arrows is a little bit scary, and yeah, they're coming straight for me. Um, Elvenwood, a sacrificial lamb as a way to protect the uh, the outpost a bit. Get Lady of Light for Galadriel so she can start buffing me a bit more. Kill those wogs. And yeah, they're just all killing that. But if I hawk strike them... They will not take long to get rid of them. Okay, we're going to use Frandal's mobilization. Going to get some archers now as well. And in fact, since I'm getting archers, it gets the upgrades for the archers. Uh, Frandal will boost our army. You guys are doing fine. Just sit there. Just sit there and they'll die. Okay, the Melon Tree is almost... Uh, not the Melon Tree. The Elvenwood Tree is almost gone. That's fine. That's fine. It did its purpose, which was to survive, which was survive long enough to let me do other things. Uh, they're bringing up more cavalry now. More cavalry just coming up in general, so I should be getting more pikes rather than um, anything else. And I will get more pikes from Lothlorien as well. Uh, they're just sitting there, and I'm going to let them sit there. I don't know what their plan is, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to indulge them. I'd rather just sit still for a moment. We're a little bit wounded. I'm going to try and keep Rohan off my back for as long as possible by throwing down this uh, magic. My magical waters. Oh, that was a swing from Eowyn. Thankfully, I have several heroes on her and she is now dead. Sadly, there are now cavalry on my heroes and they might also be dead. But we have money, and that is the main thing here. I spend all of it. And that tree is gone. Sad shame. Shame sad. Okay, get these guys back. The army. Gladwell, you're not yet level 3, but I can fear the enemy army. Although there was no enemy army to fear over there. Okay, get these guys over there to deal with that Onager. Uh, I'm trying to fight on, what, three fronts right now? That's not a smart idea. Not a smart idea. Shining Arrow. Just keep those guys still for a second, please. Uh, more pikes. More swords. Our archers are fine for now. We don't need any more than this. Let's fall back. The Onager's dead, so we can just fall back to our healing tree. We really need to. Our army has been devastated. And I should be looking toward getting Master Blades as well for our infantry. All expensive upgrades, yes, but it will be worth it in the end. That fear tree just proving once again why it is one of the best middle tier powers in the game, if not the best middle tier power in the game. Oh, Golem, where? Oh, permanent lady of light. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, yes, please. Yes. Oh, this queen is going to slay. This queen is going to slay. Let me say that. There we go, Galadriel, take the ring. You're already in Lady of Light form. I don't care about making a Queen of Twilight. We've not been giving anyone gifts yet. Uh, Caliborn first. I want Caliborn to live through everything. So, let's do that. Okay. Oh, friend, I saw that hit. Who hit you? Who hit you hard? Who hit you hard so I can hit them back even harder? Uh, my base is, in is a bit in danger. Um, I'm going to summon Radagast the Brown to deal with that. Uh, not on his slakes, I see pikes. Wizard blasting them will be enough. And then the brambles to uh, hurt them even more. Nice wizard blast. Brambles. Oh, what is that? What is that? Why are there only four of them? Ah! 
That's scary. That was really scary. Who? Kellerborn. Uh, oh right, ends. Fuck. That's not good. I have money though, so where the fuck does all this money come from? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm spending all of it. In front of the mobilization is not back off cooldown. Mm, that's not good. Uh, need to stop this army. Where does Ents come from? If it was last march, the last march of the Ents, they would have been like Treebeard and Quickbeam and shit. Where did all they, them go? Did they just die? I have a feeling they all just died. Okay, this base is very in trouble. And I lost Caliborn, which sucks. I don't think he keeps the gift if he dies. He might. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I've had a hero die with a gift. Um, uh, uh, de, 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 uh, shit. Uh, arrow volley. Let's get rid of that back line. Save me having to deal with it in a different way. Uh, press on things. Give things upgrades. Things need help. I need help. Help me. Ah, no. No, that's not good. That was a lot of resources I put into that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Caliborn, I've got to disband you for a second and then bring you back. Get rid of this Onagon now. Let's not let it attack so I can rebuild this. Friendless mobilization will be back online shortly. That will be our time to attack. Isengard is still focusing me. <laughs> oh, I'm getting double teamed really bad. It hurts. It hurts. I can feel it. It hurts. Uh, uh, put another Elvenwood back here. So I have another healing tree. I can keep it a little bit safer. Uh, Rohan is still kind of not pressuring me anywhere else other than here, which is fine and dandy, I guess. Still, Isengard is a pain in the ass. Um... 70% uh, almost ready. Okay, I think the time has come for Galathrim. How far is Caliborn away? I should not have done that. I should not have done that. I forgot. I still don't. Uh, I need help. I need therapy. Uh, okay, Pikes. Mobilization. Get some archers as well. So I didn't notice I'm running low on archers and I'm going to take a what long time before I see this Galathrim. Where are you going? Oh, they destroyed my special tree. How s oh, what a shame. So sad. Get it back. Take it back from them. That's all that matters. Yeah, you build that mine, I take it away from you. You don't get to keep your toys. Speaking of, how dare you get the next upgrade because I want to be able to give you um, faster cooldown on that border sentry by just resetting it. Okay, now you've got Golden Arrow. And now use this again. Just protect these areas with a bunch of support units. Get Grimbay on next. They're now attacking me here. But it's Isengard, not... Uh, Rohan, which is what I was expecting. Oh, that's a lot of units. Caliborn is back, thank God. Oh, I can start doing stuff again. Gonna feel good. Gonna feel good to do stuff again. Now I've got my boy back. Uh, get Queen of Twilight, just so I can use that to make a tornado if I, ever I need it. And yes, I do keep the gift. Good. Good, that saves me a lot of time. That's heavy armor on those uh, peasants. That is, well, not peasants, but yeomen. But that's still, uh, that's, that's scary. That, that's an upgrade. That's an upgrade that I did not want to have to see. Let's give all my archers upgrades. Numbers too great. That's that, that's not an excuse. Make get get back get here now. I need you. Did my Manon tree survive? It did. Good. And thank God. How how dear is love? Tier four. Uh, Level 10 ability is so busted. Summon Guardians and Galadriel can make that come back quicker. And you can use it again instantly. Uh, our army's getting pretty strong. I have to say we're almost ready to take out uh, Isengard. I say we're almost there. Uh, get rid of that Bastion Ram. Anything coming up over here? Nope. Good. 
But yeah, throw down Queen of Twilight, get the Tornado, just put it in front of the Auric Pit so they don't make it any more troops. Get rid of that Onager. And we're cooking. That's an Eowyn, she just... Sh <laughs> okay, note to self, don't throw Eowyn's spear into units. It does no damage to them, it only does damage to heroes. Lesson learned. Lesson learned, people. Learn. Th remember this lesson. Okay, Onaga down. Let's throw down the Veil of Mist to force our way back quicker. Because, yeah, that special tree is about to fall. We've still got the other special tree, so it's fine if we lose one. I mean, it's not. I, I hate that fact, but we just have to live with it. That tree lasted so long. It was my first tree. I planted it myself with my own two hands, and my poor mountain tree is about to die as well. That is fine. Our economy is more than stable enough to survive it, and our base is never going to be able to take enough damage to get destroyed. We've got a level 10 friend or let Open your eyes. Well, there's still time. Such is the nature of evil. Keep knocking things down, friend will. In fact, you got something better for this. Answer the question. You can just stand on your get down on your elk and walk that away that way. But yeah, you should not have been back there. That was scary. I I, uh, I, uh, I was scared. I was afraid I was going to lose you as well, which I do not want. Yeah, they, they don't have a chance of doing anything here. The Bionni Hall has a permanent tower as well, so that's good, fine and dandy. Frandall, please tell me with the army now. Yes, but you're very, very insistent on staying back and fighting. And there's Isengard Unleashed. Uh, Galadriel, you need to use your Tornado now. Oh, in fact, no. Use your uh, your word of power. I mean, it didn't kill them, but it hit them hard. Uh, friend Will, I want you in, out of your pyjamas because you're not doing enough damage. And you're taking too much damage. Even with that bubble of yours, you're just not staying around long enough. That being critical health. Uh, sure, place it in front. The elves instantly disappear, but it's money and it's healing, so do it. Uh, okay, get everyone together. Let, let, let's stop diverging into different paths. Let's stay together. Summon Vingalot, the Lady of Light. And then let's charge and kill off Isengard. They've they've had enough fun. I've let them live for long enough. Isengard is going to be slowed down just by everything I have. That is a formidable army, I'll admit. This tree should help. I've also got Tariel. Who I'm going to summon on that tree. And then she's going to summon her ambushers. And then arrow volley on the units that are already there. And anyone that doesn't uh, survives that just gets to keep moving. Vingalot, keep moving forward. Not too far forward though. Uh, Elven eyes, just so we have a bit more vision. Not, not, not that we need it, but you know, you might. Oh, there's an Onager. Okay, I've got to put a bit more attention into this now. Well, actually, no, maybe not. Maybe not. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, Tariel, if I can put you onto your uh, swords and just have you attack that Onager, that would be great. Um. Galadriel, stand a little bit closer forward into the front lines. Use uh, a little closer to the front line, please. I didn't mean to make you attack that tower. Uh, Queen of Twilight. There we go. Now everyone stand forward. And destroy just the buildings there. Anything there can be destroyed. Uh, we've got a lot of free space now. Let's uh, get those palace guards. Uh, I'm still trying to attack my base. They are doing nothing. Get our elite units, I guess. Might as well. Did she do it? She did not. But she did force them to throw out their... Uh, they did force them to throw out... Uh, how dear. That's a, that's a good use of that. Isengard is almost dead. Let's get rid of that Onager. That's the only thing that matters. Oh, now the battering ram matters as well. Uh... That might kill it. It did not. I cannot stop that. And there's Onager as well. I can't stop the Onager. Jesus. I 
Okay, okay. Eisenhower's almost dead. Uh, how's this base doing? Standing. It's standing. It's about to fall, but it is standing. Stand just a little bit longer for me, please. Just a little bit longer. Okay, we can now get Vengeance of the Horns. And since I don't really have any other opportunity for it, let's just use it again. See what they say about that. Okay, that's Isengard dead. There's one more faction off my radar. And we have a lot of very, very wounded units. But also a lot of new elite units, so I cannot complain about that. Who also are doing decent disruption damage. Keep them back for as long as possible. Our army just needs to come together and heal. We're about to get like 108... 1800 command points, just watch. It's gonna be crazy. Did the Onaga get destroyed? I think it did, I can't see it. But yeah, they, uh, Rohan is now reaching critical mass, but their critical mass is nowhere near close to our critical mass, and we've already hit We hit that 10 minutes ago. Yeah, we're good now. We've got all our upgrades. For all our units, our army is healing, and a lot of our units were missing uh, entities. Which, yep, yeah, that's already sixteen hundred. Our base is still untouched. And yeah, this is looking good. Rohan has zero chance of success against me now. Seventeen hundred. Let's let's keep the ball rolling. Ball rolling. Seventeen hundred fifty-two. Lovely jubbly. Keep sending Vingalot lot out a little bit further before it dissipates. There we go. Seven, 1800, there we go. We've gone past that point. Are there any more? Any more for any more? Or did I actually get it right at 1800? No, there's a few more. A few more. 1830. Is that all of it? Nope, this still you. Oh no, that's the palace god, I think. So we're close now. We're getting close. 1836. Oh my god. 66. How, when is it going to end? When is this number going to end? I'm going to end up naming the video after this. 1875 command points. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, we need to start doing stuff. That's, that's a little bit of an army. Even the base can't hold up against all of that. 1875 command points. It's probably that number because one of these heroes costs a little bit more or less than the others. Uh, is this still there? No, it is not. Then I'm just going to remake it. Wherever it will let me. Wherever the elves can rest their heads, that's their home. Yeah, 1875 command point game. Oh my god, I love it. Oh no, my tent. Uh, can I stop this? I can, but it's a bad use. Screw it. I'll probably get it back before it's even time to use it. I'll just use it now. Army gets self healing. Building gets self healing. Screw everything that AI wants it to do. How do I can already use this? I haven't even used the blessing on him. Where is he so I can use the blessing on him? Stand still for a second. I know, put it on your bow for a second so I can actually see you and buff you. And let's throw down more troops to defend the base. They can't touch us. What is that? <laughs> Excuse me? Excuse you? What? What gave that extra range? Excuse me? I've never seen silver fawn arrows shot from one corner of the map to the other. I'm sorry, no, that was some bullshit right there. I'm not going to lie. That was hilarious to witness. Uh, is there anything else I can actually get? Uh, I guess I can get these up this upgrade for the wine, although I don't have any wine. Yeah, that range on the Karas Galapon Guardians was insane. I'm sure they cannot shoot that far. I am... 50% sure they should not be able to shoot that far. What could they be getting that gives them that extra buff? Could it be Legolas just existing? Uh, 
Only Elven Eye gives range to him. So, technically, they aren't getting a boost. We have not had no, I think that was a little bit of a glitch. Dark. Well, I say a glitch. That was just a, um, a happy accident, we'll call it. It was a happy accident that, the, that my, I just got the ability to... <laughs> Oh my god, that was hilarious. I got the ability to just shoot from across the screen. With my archers. Oh, oh, okay. We only have Mirror's Knowledge left to get. Grand. Let's get rid of that camp first. Oh, this goblin list is alive. You know what? We, we let that live. We, we let that live. They deserve it. They've earned it. They've earned their lives. Uh, just going to use Legolas' train archers for a second. Just because that extra experience does make a difference. I'm surprised how much experience actually makes a difference in this game. But it does. We have not had dealings with the dwarves since the dark days. Keep your wits sharp. Alright, how's this going? Just, just a quick second to drink and look outside. Even though it's pitch black outside. Don't ask me why, but I just did. Oh, this nose. It's gonna be the death of me. Uh, Galadriel. Just use the banishment. Oh, those poor archers didn't escape in time. I'm surprised I actually went for a very unorthodox build for me. I didn't go hard, I didn't only went one unit of Galathlin. And the rest of us went Merkwood Archers. Not that there's any real difference between them. There might be a bit of a damage scale difference, but that's it. Nice try, Cab. You tried. You, you tried your hardest. And we've almost got enough command points spare so I can get your. <laughs> we've lost 300 command points of units, by the way, in doing this. But I do not regret a single bit of it. They're still trying to attack my base, by the way. And they're getting nowhere. No purchase can be found on my base. They, they just don't stand a chance. And now all that's left is their secondary base, their outpost to the left of me. Let's start making our way over there. Let's speed up our movements. Now, can I summon Tariel from this? I can. Okay, lesson learned. I can summon Tariel even from the Mystic Streams. That is good to know. In case I ever want to do some quirky stuff. Or Mythbusters, I don't know. If I ever consider, oh, I'm going to do a Mythbuster on something uh, in um, Edine, then I, I know what I'm going to do it on. I'm going to have as one of the things. Mythbusters. Can Tariel use her ability on any building? And I mean any. And the answer would be yes. She can. She's not... She's not that used, but she's still got value, no matter where she's put. And what what's his ability again? I never remember. Uh, Lobs towards an enemy hero that... Refreshes the damage bonus that Tyle's got any, everywhere on the map. Refreshes the damage bonus? Oh! Okay. What well, I just won! Wow! Okay. <laughs> oh god! I was half mid. I was mid sentence and then just decided to choke on my own words. Literally. Oh Jesus. Oh. Yeah, that poor Angmar didn't stand a chance, and Isengard only lived for as long as he did because Rohan was constantly harassing me. And even then, I could have surrendered on Mirkwood, and then they would have killed. I haven't got a for me. Jesus Christ, I need a drink of water. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this one. Uh, always good to see a good Lothlorien showcase where I start off Lothlorien and then go almost full Mirkwood. Jesus, I've got hiccups now. That's going to piss me off. Next one will be Miles of the Entwash, which is a beer for me one map that got thankfully paused back into Edine that I actually really like. It's one of my favourite maps from beer for me one. But until then... 
Ta-ta for now.